Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Terra Nil. Today's beverage is a very nice sparkling raspberry and blackberry spring water. Very refreshing indeed. So welcome back to the game. Previously, we were on the first level and managed to get it completed to 100%. That means cleaning up the wasteland, putting in some extra layers of topsoil, and then adding in, obviously, the trees and the plants and the grass seeds. And, yeah, obviously revived the rivers and just completely sorted out the ecosystem, essentially. We also managed to do all of the optional goals as well. We're going to continue on and play a bit more of the game. This is the second level where we have this area that's got a big ocean as well so we not only have to clear up uh, the land but also the sea if we can as well so let's go ahead and well continue on we've got this little bit started so we do have a bit of a head start I'm going to place a windmill in say here and then we're just going to place some of these around where we can naturally we're not going to get all of the areas uh, but we'll do we'll do what we can with uh, the funds that is av available so it's actually going down at a fairly fairly steady rate there but uh, let's just go ahead and place that there and then we'll place another one in there and then there's a lot of that to clean up we do have the option i think um to i think it's like is it crystallize around uh, let me just place another wind turbine and then we will see what total options we have left so if i place that there we will get uh, yes this thing here so this is a mineralizer so crystallizes the salt in ocean water to create rock so if i was to place it there for example, we could then place a wind turbine, which means we can then sort of cleanse uh, that area and then uh, this area as well. There we go. That's uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and actually start to actually physically cleanse this, because at the moment we're doing nothing of the sort. Um, so this is going to go here. Would it be more efficient to do that? In fact, it really would. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Naturally, we're not going to get, obviously, this to 100%, but... What we can do is we can have a look at the optional goals, because if we get a thunderstorm, it means that it's going to sort of cleanse itself anyway. So that's our overall goal. It makes it just easier on everybody. But as part of the optionals, we have uh, temperature and humidity. All of these are above, above, above. So, yeah, ivy growth, we need over 70% humidity. Uh, yes, and over 15 degrees C for temperature. Uh, jellyfish is 25 and 50%, but the moss on rock faces requires over 50% humidity, but under 10 degrees. So we need to do that first, and then we can go back and complete the rest. That's where we'll have to start using these things here, where we have the, uh, the cedars, and that's going to increase the humidity. Um, but not increase the temperature, so we need to use that. But let's continue on with uh, cleansing this area. We also need to put in some... Uh, oh, we need to cleanse all this. Let's go ahead and put in maybe that like that. That's actually fits in very well. That means that this one we can probably rotate like so and get a nice section there, which we'll do like there. That is fine. And we're already up to 34%, which is pretty handy. Um, why can't we... Why can't we cleanse... Actually, we're probably best on putting something around here. I'll tell you what, we'll do we'll do that, and then I know we're going to have to have one there. So that's all we can place, because we can't double up on the turbines. But that means now, if we place this, we are going to get a very decent amount of uh, water propagation. I'm just double-checking over there. I think I got... I think that was the right spot. It should get to the end. Yes, it has, so that is great. And obviously, it's spread along here, and it's going into the ocean. Um, we're going to go ahead and place that one there. We'll place another one in, say, there. And then, again, just wherever we've not got it fully uh, sort of cleaned up, we'll place some of these in. And this level works a bit different to the previous one. So the other one, we had the boat that came along. And, well, we don't on this one. We have something a bit different. And it's quite interesting, but you'll see as we get on later on into the video. Uh, let's place that in there. Then one in that corner, then one in here. There we go. So all of this is ripe for basically lining up and doing as much as we can there. That's great. And there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll come down a bit to say there. And I'll place another one in and around here to get the remainder of it. Good. So that's all right. We'll do around here. I think we will need to maybe crystallize a couple of places there and there. 
and naturally here as well. Because we have to go onto that side. So we'll have one there, one there, one there. Just concerned a little bit about the money, but we're not we're not too bad at this stage. Um, that'll get the majority of it. I think we're going to have to crystallise here. Oh, we've got another building. This is a sandbank. Creates a small island on which buildings can be placed. I've not found a particular use for that yet. But I'm sure there will be one. That goes in there. Again, cleansing all of the water around here. Where are we short of maybe power? Here. So we'll crystallise. I have to be careful of the placement of these. Because if you place it too close to others, it's going to be problematic. That should be fine there. haven't done these edges here, but the rest of it around here is fine. It's just this bottom edge here. And we're on 464. So that's more than sufficient, I think, for our needs. And there we go. And, well, let's just cleanse all of this land here. We've got huge tracts of land that we've just not done anything with. So we can do that now. And we'll get this too. The required level. It's on six. Uh, it's on ninety-six percent anyway, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. That'll probably get it done actually. There you go. So the area has been cleansed. We now have to increase biodiversity, restore beaches, mangroves, tropical rainforests. Also need to use the monorail network <laughs> and transport coral polyps to the sea. So I'll. Touch on that in a moment. I just want to finish off what we're doing here. So it was um, adding in this bit, then another bit here. Um, that should be fine. Then another strip. This area. There we go. And we're even going to put one, because we can, on this side as well. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Okay, so we have four biomes essentially beach coral reef tropical uh, rainforest and mangroves in order to do that we've got well the hydroponium which is that's just going to be our mangroves all right so that's relatively easy to do after that we gain uh, the combustor which basically burns the land around it and then you can yeah it's it's how you make the beach and then finally you've got uh, the rainforest i think but what we're going to do We've now got also, what's this? This is, oh, a combustor. So it burns an area around it, like that, for example. It has to be placed on the rock formations, and that increases the temperature. But we are looking at not doing that yet, because if we do that, we may go over the 10 degrees C. So we need to increase humidity using a cloud seeder, and that's going to increase it by a considerable amount and we can see we've now got moss on rock faces and ferns on riverbanks let's double check that oh nice so there's all the ferns on the riverbanks and there's the moss on the cliff faces but not this side apparently <laughs> just the faces that we can uh, oh that's very nice but I have a feeling that that's going to fail sorry I'll rephrase it's past now. We've got that tick there, and we can mouse over and just say previously completed. As soon as the temperature goes over 10 degrees, that will still have a tick in it because we previously completed it, but we won't have the moss on rocks around here. That's my theory. But what I'm going to do is continue on increasing the humidity. and get it to a really humid state. I want the thunderstorm to, st to start, ideally. Right, well, there you go. There is 100% humidity. Literally nightmarish. <laughs> okay, so that's all working. We then need to use the combustor. So, it requires power and requires rock. Burn surrounding vegetation to increase atmospheric temperature. More carbon dense vegetation is more effective. But, do we want to, do we want to get this biome done first, the mangroves? Um, I mean, I think so, but where to place them? Where to place them? I'd like it in an area where we've got like, maybe just have like this corner as mangroves. 
I think we're going to do that. And then we'll work on the burning bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to place one of them there and one of them there. I just want these extra bits. So we want that in there, that in there, that in there. And we now get access to, I believe... Uh, oh, right. The salinator. Can't use it, though. We use that to increase the salinity of the surrounding area, allowing mangroves to flourish. So we, we can increase the mangrove density and the percentage of it by using those, but only if the temperature is warm enough. So, let's burn things. Um... I guess we'll have to burn all the way around here. I think this will create beaches, I think. Let's just try it. Or oh, we'll just burn it. Oh yeah, it definitely burns it. Um, right, how can, we create, how can we create a beach? I'm guessing it's these ones. Yeah, okay. What I'll do then, I'll continue on with that. that that's, that's a good idea, I think. That can go in there with power to then connect up to that. That's four degrees. That's another two degrees. Place it now, three degrees there. So burning all around here. So the temperature's going up. It's gone over 12. Um, no, that's still, that's still okay, that. That's still okay. So we just need to go over 35, basically, to get the, um, get the, the rains to come. Ivy overgrowth and migratory birds return. So, oh, there's the ivy overgrowth. That looks lovely. And where's the migratory birds? Where are they? Uh, they might be flying above the camera. Okay, we'll continue on. Uh, we'll probably place another burner there. I think we'll place this in here with power. And then another three degrees. Uh, we'll just continue along like this. I think this is reasonable. Um, I think we can fit one in there. Probably fit one in there. So, power. Ooh, hoo -hoo. we're running low. We're running dangerously low. But I do have this. And this. And this was where we can get... What's that? Captures sand to form... Uh, to form? Form? Form beaches and dunes. Must be built on a toxin scrubber. So I can put them there, make beaches all the way along here. Right. But what about this? Will this increase... Oh yeah, that's going to increase the salinity. And they're really cheap to place these, so I'm going to place these. And are we going to get this to the next level? I don't think we are. We can do that. And that should get us to... Mangroves. Right, so there's the mangroves. Oh, I love them. That's very nice. Okay. So we've done that. We've got also this thing. So this is how we create the rainforest. It's a shade cloth pillar. Pillars connected in triangles to form shady areas where tropical forests thrive. Must be built on the side of a cliff. All the way around here. Okay, fine. My concern is all this burnt land. What's going to happen to it? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. We definitely need beaches. So, should we work on beaches? Let's have the beaches along here. And... We almost done for beaches? That beach is almost complete. I thought it was complete. And there we go. There's beaches complete. And we now have monorails. So, previously we used the boat. We landed the ship. We used the boat. The boat would then come along and work its way around. Do all of the you know things that a boat does. Um, and then we collect it up. This time we have to use monorails. And you have to build them. You can only build them on the hard standing. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Right. How are we doing for money? We're doing okay for money, but I do want to increase. I use, you need to use the combustor. The 
problem is using this, it's going to burn a lot of the land. Let's see, that'll just be four degrees. We need to get over 35. Crabs populate beaches. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't trust the way they walk. Ugh, they've also disappeared under the sand. Okay, you do you, crabs. Jellyfish return, coconut palms, vines grow. Jellyfish return. Let's see if we can find some jellies. There's the jellies. Yes, floating stingy things. Um, coconuts? Coconuts on there. Looking alright so far. Five more degrees. Five more degrees. Uh, there we go. Thunderstorm begins. So this is where we require a bit of patience. So we've burnt all of the land. A lot of it, but when the rains come, it should, should fix it. Um, I'm going to burn a little bit more to take us over to the, what was it, dragonflies over 40%. So can I do that? That would take us to 40%. But it definitely says over 40%, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> so a bit of a waste. That would be one, there we go. So that is all of the optional goals completed. Ivy overgrowth, jellyfish return, crabs populate beaches, coconut palms, migratory birds, which I've not yet spotted. Let me know if you have. Ferns on riverbank. Yeah. Vines grow. Water lilies blossom. Water lilies? There they are, blossoming. Oh, that's nice. I never noticed that before. So these, <laughs> they were on hard standing before on the ground, but now they put them on these... <laughs> <laughs> some uh, like floating bags so it just yeah floats along nice uh, dragonflies there's the dragonflies yep there we go some little drag dragonflies floating about nice moss on rock faces here and thunderstorm so apparently the thunderstorm has begun I'm not seeing it <coughs> but we shall see okay so, we now need to... Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. Good. Um, also, I want to... Ooh. Do I want to build over here? Because then I have to... Uh, this, is the, this is the concern. Because we can only transport stuff with the monorail network, I don't think a monorail would reach over there. Can you see the distance? There would be to there. No. So, there's the... Yes, there's the reins. So... Wow. It's looking good. So the rains are cleansing the rest of it. So a lot of the ocean, all, all this one's getting revitalised. All of the burnt land here, that's also getting sorted. Going back to what it was, but it'd be just, it's mini greenery. And we're getting all the points for it. So we're sort of taking the credit for for the rain. Um, okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go with that there and that there straight across because I can place that one and that one. The question is, can I place a monorail network connected up? I think I would be able to. One there and one there. One there. And that one there. Yes, it would work. So we can get stuff from there. So we don't even need to place that anymore. Okay. Um, and then we need... Yeah, the way the monorail network functions, essentially, is you click on, an, on the monorail. You click on a building, say this. And then you can move it anywhere within this monorail network. So in this particular case, I'm just shifting it over. There's the monorail to there. So it's just moved it. Nothing nothing special. But it means you can be really, really frugal. Because, say, the irrigators, you can move it to an area, irrigate, move it to another area, irrigate, and just <laughs> continue on doing that. Um, that's what we can do. But as I said, the monorails, they need to connect up. I can only connect up to uh, each other within a certain distance. And also, they need to be on this, uh, this bedrock here. Okay. 
So the rains are doing their thing. Let's go ahead and finish off with jungles. So jungles, we're going to do a triangle. So I'm going to go from there, probably down here, and just start making these triangles. So as far as it can go, which is there, and then let's get 55. So we get the shade across it and a very quick growing <laughs> bit of... Uh, <laughs> very quick growing bit of uh, forest there. And we got some bird song as well. Perfect. Okay. There's that. Tropical forest is prolific and can grow on land of any height, apparently. There we are. And place one there. And you can see we've got these lines here connecting it and all this netting, essentially. Um, there. And then obviously it's going to be over here. Can we go on this side? We can, but it won't connect up. 40. That looks nice. Um, I'm thinking there and there. It did not connect up. How curious. Hmm. Oh, because it needs to be a triangle, so it didn't connect up there. Ah, oh, my mistake. Hang on then. Monorail network. Monorail network. So I can... Can I select that... No, I can't use those. Duh, I can't use the monorail network to move those. That's a bit of a problem. But it is what it is. Mm, I mean, it's going to be that, isn't it? <laughs> and then that, that's fully completed. So we now have beaches, mangroves, tropical forests. We don't have coral reef. So the coral reef, you use the coral labs. The coral labs says, grows coral from polyps, which can be moved within a monorail into clean ocean must be built on an irrigator. So I can place it on that. So there we go. There's the coral. Then we can use the monorail to dump it in the ocean. And we'll place it there. And there it is. So it opens up. And I'm guessing it'll start... Oh! Yeah, it's all filled out. Excellent. Um, right, okay. Monorail networks. We... We have no connections around here. That's going to be problematic. Oh, and the rains are coming again. I'm going to place this in here with a bit of power and a monorail network like that. I'll place in that. I'm going to have to continue on uh, with, I think, more of this with power and a monorail network. How are we doing for funds? We're doing perfectly fine. We're going to get more as it rains as well. That can go there. Monorail can go in there. So we can then select that bit of monorail. We'll select that. And again, it's connected to the network. It can go all the way down here. So there is 46. So we're on halfway already for, the, for this. I guess monorail networks then... That would work out. That would work out. I'm just going to build the network. I'm just going to establish some of this network. And you can see we've got multiple connections here. It's the inland areas that I'm going to struggle with. But we will be given a tool to help out. I'm just going to chat. We definitely... Yeah, we're not... You can max out, I guess, some of this. Yeah, but we're all... We're, we're fine. We're fine. It's maxed out. Um, so one of them can go there. Um, my question is, is that within the monorail network? It is not. That one will be, though. So we'll have that one. So... We'll select this, and darn it. Are we just out? Oh, no. We're just, just shy. Um, okay, that's a bit, of, a bit of a cause for concern. I might, have, I might have just got that permanently stuck. Can we do that? We can. We can. It's not ideal, but it will connect to the network. That means that I can select that and dump it. I mean, where's the best place for it to go. 52 to there. 54 over there. We'll place that in. And then we'll go for that. And that's 60 there. Brilliant. Place another one. And monorail it. I want to get it so we just completed it. Oh, we have completed it. We've already done it. Excellent. 
So, monorails can be utilised for recycling. Connect the monorail to the airship. Alright. So, tab three. Airship. There's the airship. We're going to land it here. So, we put a fence around. We mow the grass. You may look like crown... You can do crown green bowling on that one. And then we need our monorail connection, which is going to go there. So, we can then use the lights and place it like that. And what will happen is, we get a monorail up here from the bottom. This is the recycling monorail. It's going to come along. <laughs> it's going to then grab everything around that area apart from... And this is a, a concept I did struggle with at one point. It grabs everything apart from the monorail posts around it. So it'll grab the monorail that you've put the beacon on, but it won't take the uh, the rest of it. So if I place it there, it's not going to grab this one. Same as I've placed it there, it shouldn't grab these. But obviously we need to basically work our way back. However, a couple of things we need to do first. We need to scan for life forms. Do 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 do. And also we need to... Ah, we have another tool. And this is a very useful tool and we will be using it. We can basically use this uh, rock hopper to launch rocks. We can yeet rocks around, which is not normally safe. Um, and we can basically do this. I'll place one there. You can hardly see it because of the vegetation, but it flings the rock over there. And then it means we can then use the monorail to connect up there, connect up there, connect up there. And I'm just going to connect up these monorails where we can and this is this is concerning I don't think we can build any monorails over there oh one can go there and this is going to come basically all the way across the beach where there you go we'll have to do something here my concern is how mm, it's going to have to be oh, I don't need that it's going to have to be that with power and a monorail, which is there, which should then reach the other side. It does not. We are... Um, I don't want to use this term... <laughs> in trouble. But I'm a bit concerned. I am a, just a little bit concerned that we won't be able to reach. We'll have to use the rock hopper, probably. We'll see. That can go to there, for sure. And then, there's no way we can place one around here. Uh, okay. We can still use canisters, though. We still have canisters. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Let's look for uh, animals. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is undiscovered. That looks like turtles to me. So we're going to scan in here. Okay, so requirements partially on an island. And don't know what the other one is. Is it just land? Okay. Partially on a small island... I reckon beach, then. There it is. We have turtles. Tortoises. Tortoise? Tortoises? We found them. We can't see them, but we found them. And there's some fish floating around there. Don't need more. Oh, there they are. There's one. Mm. The war of the crabs and the turtles has begun. That's a big clam sh a big uh, shell. What else have we got? That seems to be... Is that a bird? No, that's a manta ray. It's going to go here, surely. Ooh, almost. So, requirement fully met. In range of at least six coral tiles and in at least eight ocean tiles. So maybe beach? No. Maybe open ocean? No. Mangroves? Three... Ah, river tiles. Oh, hang on then. We should be able to... Put it there. Perfect. We have rays. So the rays go around here. This is where we may not be able to get them all. Because you need to have certain combinations of the of all of these, don't we? Um, let's scan for whatever this is. It looks like a parrot. Mm, ah, so in range, but we need to have no buildings. No buildings within range. That seems correct there. Oh, we've got a building there and there. I didn't see it. There, then? Parrots. Yes. The squawkers. There they are. Oh, and flying as well. Lovely. Okay. 
We've got... What is that? A pelican. It doesn't want to be there. Try the mangroves. In range of at least 10 wetland tiles. In range of beach. Okay. Let's try that. So, we need beach tiles. And... And is it wetlands? We might get lucky here. Sort of. No. I don't think we're going to get it. Unless we change some of this land to beach. We might get it on the scan. Need more wetland tiles. A bit further inland. A bit further inland. I thought this is wetland. Mm. So, that's greenery. That's mangroves. Mangroves. Submerged rock. Hmm. I thought that would have been totally sufficient. What else have we got? That's a shark, isn't it? it needs to be good temperature. Is it going to be near a beach? It needs to <laughs> It needs to be near Spielberg to be able to be seen. Ah, oh, hang on. Um, so yeah, in range of at least six coral tiles and temperature. What about land? Yes, I reckon it's going to be beach as well. No, it's not. So I ever got the middle one? No, I never, never got the middle one. What about this? Hmm. Don't know. Well, what's this one? We'll see what this is. Oh, well, that was easy. Will. Uh... <laughs> so we got four of the three. We don't need all of them. Okay, I took the liberty of continue scanning here because I thought we, we must be able to get all of this completed. And we have. We do have flamingos, which are over somewhere around here. As you can see, I've added a couple more biomes just to make sure they're next to each other. And then we do also have the reef shark, which is, well, around the reefs, coral reefs. In fact, there you go. There's the, where's the reef sharks there. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to remove some of this. So we are going to use the uh, canister collection system, and we can basically basically, well, make loads and loads of canisters. So let's do that, and obviously we are going to place them in areas where the monorail network can grab all of this. So let's do that, and we need to clear up this area and all of here as well. It's the inland bit I'm a bit concerned with, um, but we'll, we'll do what we can. So there's all of that picked up, and including <laughs> including the, uh, the stuff above that above that as well. Um, that is very much, that's very much right next to the monorail network, so that should be fine. That'll all clear up there. And it's it's the cause, the cause of concern is around this area. I don't know whether or not we'll be able to get them all done. Um, that can go in there, that can go in, say, here. Yeah, that's near the monorail network, but it's not near that. But I think that will end up, yeah, that will end up picking that. So actually, let's just send this monorail along. And I should point out as well um, that we may end up having to build extra monorails as we uh, as we go. It's just just because you will often um, have issues with uh, where you remove things and how you do that. But anyway, we'll do what we can. Let's just uh, place those along. Let's say the monorail network is pretty much pretty much complete at this point, but we won't be able to get. I don't think everything. Um, I can gather bits from there. That'll gather... I think that'll gather the majority of that. Followed by... Followed by those. Um, right, barring any... Any issues, that should be it. So, monorail to there. It's going to collect this canister. These bits down here. And then, obviously, pick up that bit of monorail. I can send another one to um, there. Which is going to delete that part of the network. Well, then we'll send another one to 
here. Because what happens is it, it, it grabs it and then it just sort of disappears. It doesn't have to head back. Um, so we can we can do this by sending these out. It's going to just collect up all of these. So that's gone. That's gone. And it does take a little while to send them on the on the network. I don't want to be too hasty. Though. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. <laughs> um, oh, was that a ray just jumping out of the water? I think it was. Excellent. Um, so that's getting picked up. Well, we'll do that one. And that one. And send them out there. And I tend to work from the extremities back over. Is that the whales, by the way? Very much so. Don't get beached. Please don't get beached. Thank you. I'm going to say we don't have the uh, the ability to unbeach a whale. I don't know how you would do that anyway. Sounds like a very intensive job. <laughs> uh, there we go. That, that canister's going to get collected. We're on six of the three animals and 86% completion. Oh, there's actually a building there, but this does pick up the canisters and the other buildings around. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. And the rain is, well, raining. It is raining. The rain is doing its thing. It's going to, yeah, yeah, start to basically put grass and other things around the areas where we previously had some buildings. So that, and that, and that. And we'll leave that one for now. Yep, it's saying, yep, just these ones here. I think that is about it. I think that's it. I think that's 100% completed. Nice. And there we go. That gets demolished, goes to there, and lift off. That was done. And I believe, and this takes off. <laughs> What'll happen is. All of the grass grows over, and it's as if we were never here. Wasteland reclaimed. That's been a bit of Terra Nil. 100% completion. All optional goals completed. All animals found. And no stress induced. There we go. We have managed to complete two out of the however many biomes there is. That's on a... That says 70%. Yes, we have discovered all biomes, well, all biomes restored, all animals discovered. Um, same on this one as well. So that's temperate and that's tropical. There are other ones. I think there'll be an ice one. But this is just the, uh, the, the early preview build that I have been fortunate enough to be given access to. Not a sponsored video, but as I said, I uh, was provided access to play this. Uh, the full version at the time recording is not yet out, but it's out soon. Uh, links in the description. And yes, I will be continuing on to play the other biomes to see if we can get them done as well. For the fun of it, 35% completed. I'm guessing that, yeah, there is alternate versions. It does say locked there in this build, but in the full one, we shall see others. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care and generic partings.